All right, just an update on the tractor. Uh, the 4052R, it's 2017. I got 500 hours on it now. I have different uh, front wheels and tires on it. Um, I don't know if I've posted anything, information on those in previous videos, but I went with the heavy duty um, 4M series that John Deere offers. Uh, it's T Galaxy makes the tires, had Titans on it before. Titans do not make that size. Um, you can, you can, I went up getting these from like some online place, uh, got a pretty good deal on them. The rims John Deere can get for you. Specs on all this, what is the Galaxy Hippo, this is talking what the tires are, and these things, you could take all the, the air out of them and it still wouldn't be flat. I mean, they're, they got a lot of ply rating, I forget what it is. And I'm trying to look for the size here as well. Galaxy Hippo, where's that? Okay, it's a 31.5 by 13. By, on a 16 and a half inch rim and then when John Deere uh, when they get you the rims uh, I forgot exactly the size on those although they're 16 and a half I think they're by nine nine and a half something like that um, they had this guard on there for the HDs just kept the rears 16.9s uh, by 24s uh, obviously all of them are R4 still but these are a lot wider they're more aggressive looking i went ahead and went with two and a half inch wheel spacers on the fronts the the rears have three inch but two and a halves on the front when i measure them they are from the center of the tire to the center of the other tire 60 inches just like the back so row crop going down the rows corn rows bean rows whatever it's perfect so uh, it helped the offset of the tractor i'm getting ready to put the loader on get this thing ready for for winter ops and uh speaking of winter ops I went up John Deere, got a engine block heater for it finally after winter last year. Uh, pretty damn cold, so there were some times where I couldn't get it started. I had to get the truck and, and jump it, so I finally got an engine block heater. So on this, here's what you need to do. When you take the frost plug out, all you need is a half inch extension. Okay, Get yourself maybe a 10 inch. 8 to 10 inch will work just fine. I think this is a 10. And get yourself a 1 and 3 8 um we've got a reducer here so that's a half to a three quarter because you're not going to get a one and three eighths and a half inch drive most likely so that's a reducer here the three quarter to a half inch and then one and three eighths uh socket that's what you're going to need to put in the engine block here uh the, the frost plug like i said the frost plug is just going to take this the frost plug goes right in well here's the other one right here here's the frost plug that's out just put your extension right in that, it's a half inch, and uh, and walk it out of there. It's in there pretty good, but once you get it out, now here's the other thing. Get yourself a pan underneath, you're going to lose, I lost exactly three quarters. Okay, that's all it was. I got in a hurry, I wanted to save coolant, it's not worth going down that road. Once I pulled the frost plug, I tried to hurry up and put the uh, engine block heater in there, and I wound up uh, cross-threading it. It's made out of like brass, you don't want to do that. It's not worth... Uh, trying to hurry up so I was able to fix the threads no problem put some good sealant on that you can use high temperature RV RVT John Deere recommended using like red Loctite I didn't want to go down that road in case you ever remove it especially with the cross thread situation I had to maybe back it out or get a new one this one happened to work just fine I used some uh, I used some aviation stuff that we use for sealant and it's also kind of like an anti-seize type compound as well it's working so far. I'm gonna leave it plugged in for two or three hours. A high today is only 34. You don't really need it till it's about zero out, according to the book. And most diesel engines below zero um, or right at zero degrees, that's probably when you need to plug it in. It's 400 watts. Save yourself some energy. Don't plug it in or leave it plugged in all night. Get yourself a timer or something. Maybe use that on a remote switch or just plug it in two or three hours before you're gonna use the tractor save yourself some electricity and you don't have to cook your coolant all night so uh yeah and i added three quarts back so i only lost a quart and a half of coolant and a quart and a half of water on the 50 50 mix so uh yeah don't get in a hurry to do that just let it drain out you're not gonna lose a whole a whole lot um and yeah we're this this should help winter ops quite a bit but uh back to the tractor far as 500 hours uh i can't think of anything else um haven't really had any issues with the tractor. Loved it. Oh, thank God I've got a cab. I just I just love that every time I'm in it. Whether it's whether it's middle of summer with the air conditioner going or the heat, the heater works like a charm. It'll roast you out of the cab. 
again getting ready to put the 440R loader on and uh, get it cleaned up and get it ready for winter. So that's all. Thanks for watching.